All right, Jason Johnson's an associate professor of political science and communication at the Hiram College in the United States. He joins us live from Atlanta. Thank you, Jason Johnson. Um, it seems as if all of those solutions would be uh, valuable ways of approaching the war on drugs. I mean, this is really serious. You've been hearing about mass graves, mutilations, um, uh, random shootings all across the country. You know, each of these plans sounds nice in theory, but it's going to be an issue of political will, and it's also going to be an issue of cooperation with the United States. The increase, there is a direct connection between increased border security in the United States post 9-11 and the increased drug battles that are happening, happening within Mexico. So a one-part solution won't work. Any of their solutions in and of themselves will not solve this problem. Um is there a sense of urgency about this? I mean, I'm looking at those candidates and it looks very much as if it's political campaigning as usual amongst the political elite. Um, yes, and, and that's a real problem. Look, I, I, my previous experiences in Mexican elections, there are oftentimes arguments about not how they're going to solve the drug problem, but which party takes the most money from cartels and how they use it. <laughs> there's a sense of urgency during election time, but there's not enough effort of the PAN, the PRI, or the PRD to root out drug money and root out cartels from the electoral process. And I don't see any of these candidates right now recommending any fundamental changes that'll, that'll improve that situation. All right, you mentioned political will, where could it come from? Well, the political will would have to come from whoever the president is, but also empowering the people. And this, the, the, the specifics to this are fairly simple. Most Mexicans do not believe that their regular institutions like the police forces have the will or the structure or the lack of corruption to actually solve these problems. If people believe when they called the police that the police would actually come and solve a problem, that would be a huge first step in making sure that the drug cartels can't completely run the country. And the president would have to empower the police to actually have those abilities rather than just talk shop during the campaign season. But my goodness, it sounds like a really terrible situation. Um, Jason Johnson, what about the United States? Do you see it putting extra pressure um, using this presidential election as a kind of political opportunity? Well, it is a political opportunity, but unfortunately, uh, the current president of the United States is kind of embroiled in his own campaign right now. So <laughs> the likelihood that Barack Obama would really be able to put much pressure on any of the candidates in Mexico is fairly limited because his popularity isn't necessarily enough. This isn't like George Bush and, and Vicente Fox. You know, Barack Obama's relationship with Mexico is not nearly as strong as the previous President Bush's was. All right, and Jason Johnson, what does it look, who do you think is going to win and on what basis? Is it the drug war that is going to be the deciding factor? Yes, uh, you know, the current president, Felipe Calderon, he based his presidency on this belief that he could win the drug war and get the Mexican people behind him. Here we are, six years later, uh, the nation is embroiled in a drug war, the economy is bad, people are tired of the bloodshed, tired of, tired of the dead police and the mutilations, and I think this election is going to swing back to Nieto, I think it's going to swing back to the PRI, and the problem is that may not necessarily lead to the fundamental changes that Mexico needs to solve the drug war, but the public in general is unhappy with the PAN, and they don't trust they don't trust Lopez Obrador all right thanks very much indeed a really clear explanation of the issues at stake Jason Johnson live to us from Atlanta